I am at one of my favorite locations in the whole world. This is Christina Lake. It's absolutely gorgeous here. Today we're going to be looking for smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, and pumpkin seed sunfish. So you can see it's a beautiful, beautiful day. The water is a bit lower than the last time I was out here, and I'm super excited. We're going to catch some awesome fish today. I've got a couple of different strategies that I'm going to use to catch some fish today. I'm going to go over those real quick with you guys right now. Here's the first setup, my 1000 size Stratic with my Trout Series St. Croix rod, six pound Berkeley Vanish line. I've got a little Euro Tackle, soft lot Tungsten jig with a little bit of worm. That'll be one of my tactics for today. Primarily to catch the little bass and little sunfish. I've got my Johnny Marie's bait casting reel with 20 pound Power Pro on my Apollo Daiwa rod. I've got a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader and I've got tungsten weight right here with a three aught wide gap hook. I'm gonna be putting the Green Pumpkin Bandito Bug Junior on this wide gap hook. Stick this in the nose of the bait right here. Poke it out, burn it around. Then stick this right in the ribbed part. Poke it out, tech expose it. And there we go, we've got a perfect weedless setup right here. I've got a, a weight peg right here just to make sure my weight doesn't slide too far. It's gonna stay uniform, and that looks absolutely amazing for these bass. This is a green pumpkin color, ultra realistic. We've got some extremely warm, clear water. It's gonna be a very good day. I can't wait to throw this, but I'm gonna start off with the little jig and worm and see if I can't get some fish on this. All right, we're on a beaver dam, and we've always had luck on this beaver dam. And in fact, I see a little couple of little sunnies right here. Let's just try and get one right out of the way. There we go, got him. Nice. First species is a tiny little pumpkin seed sunfish. This little jig with worm catches everything. We're gonna let that guy go. Yeah, the water's extremely warm right now. I'm gonna try and get out onto this log. All right, cool. Got one, bass. Nice. Little largemouth. That's actually my first largemouth of this trip. Well, there we go. Gorgeous little largey. Got his gills all flared in a defensive position, but look at the colors in this fish. There we go, I got one. What is that? Oh, another largey, dude. Nice. Another little largey. Another nice little largey here. Just beautiful. There it goes. Right back in the water. Oh, that's nice, Sunny. That's a nice, Sunny right here. Man, putting up a nice fight. That's a pan sized sunfish. Look at that thing. Awesome. Smoked that jig and worm. Big old Sunny. There he goes, right back down. And there's some more fish to be caught in there too. Yeah, there's a bass in the bottom. There he goes, looking at my worm. I got him, nice. Another nice largey, awesome. That's my biggest, I'd say. Nice little bass right here, just gorgeous. Let this guy go real up shallow. Oh, there's a bait right here. Huh, that's cool. But there we go, that bass is out in the water and I'm gonna clean up this from the lake. I'm gonna put this on, try a few flips up shallow by the lily pads and we'll see if anything comes out to bite it. All right, just gonna flip this right in some cover. I got one, nice pass. Nice bass nice. on the bandito bug. Nice. Awesome bass right there. Flipped it right in that little open spot and he smoked the bandito bug. Better sized bass and a bigger bait. Just made sense. Nice bass, let him go. Right back in the water. That is awesome. 
I knew that if I flipped this in the open patches in the lily pads that I'd get bit and sure enough, that's a nice little bass. And who knows, there could be one even bigger just hiding in there. Oh, there's a little baby bass. There we go. This little bass. There we go, I got him. Nice. Cool. It is just a blast targeting these little bass. Get them unhooked. Thanks, buddy. Put us right back down. Good bass, good bass. There we go, nice. Nice, that's a nice bass. There we go, that's an upgrade right there. There we go. That's a nice chunky Christina Lake largemouth. That's awesome. Beautiful largy, extremely fat and healthy. Biting down my finger. Nice little jump and there he goes. Awesome. I'm gonna try and get it on that dock because there's gotta be some sunfish and bass around that but it is not connected to the land. Just in a walk in the water right here to get onto the dock. Oh, it's actually relatively deep here too. All right, not sure exactly what this dock is even used for. It's not even connected to the land, but don't see any signs for no fishing. So I'm gonna fish off of it. Got a little jig head with the worm. I've got the bandito bud right here. And let's just scan the area. See if we can't spot some fish. Got a lot of penny pads that just surround this whole area. So definitely a lot of cover for some fish. Got one. Nice. Wow, that's a gorgeous sunfish. Look at the colors on that sunfish. That is beautiful. Gorgeous sunny. Right back in the water he goes. I got one. Get it. That is the first bullet. Oh! Are you, are you kidding me? That is my first ever bullhead. He was just cruising the shallows and I pitched my worm at him and I got him. Wow, what an awesome fish. Gorgeous. My 49th species on my life list. Let's let this guy go to see another day. That's a nice size brown bullhead too. There he goes, awesome kickoff. There he goes, right back under the dock. That is epic. I started the camera right when I set the hook. So I was just looking around the dock seeing if I could spot any fish and that bullhead was there. That is epic. I'm shaking right now because I've never caught one before. I've always wanted to catch one and I finally got the opportunity to. Who would have thought that if we come over to this dock, we catch a little bullhead. Just comes to show that you never really know what you're gonna catch unless you try. So that, that was awesome. Very big surprise. All right, second spot of the day. We're at the cliffs. The target are smallmouth bass. Let's get in the water and let's catch some fish. They're starting off throwing a little jig with a worm, just kind of get a feel of things, and then I might switch over to the bandito bug. This is a pretty cool place though, it's just a bunch of cliffs and drops down 
right to 40 feet. And that's where those smallies are hiding. There we go. Good fish. That's nice. That's a nice fish. Nice smallie. Oh yeah. That's a gorgeous smallie. Oh yeah, bring up the I'm good. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. Smallie That is a nice smallie. There we go. Got that guy on the worm. That's actually a very nice smallmouth bass for this area. Beautiful bronze back. Let's let this guy go. Oh, there he goes. Awesome. Super feisty, went right back down to that cliff. This is an epic, epic spot. That's a good fish. That's a really good fish. Oh yeah, that's a nice small way. Oh yeah. Gorgeous, healthy smallmouth. That is beautiful, extremely healthy. All right, I'm gonna get rid of the jigging worm and I'm gonna pick up Bandito Bug, see if I can't catch some bigger smallies with this. I've got a three eighth ounce tungsten bullet weight on this, so it'll get me right down to the strike zone and hopefully catch me some nice big fish. There we go, I'm on. Nice fish, nice fish. On the bandito bug. Yep, nice smallie. Smoked the bandito bug. Not a bad size smallie, not my biggest, but hopefully the biggest will be to come. Smoked the bandito bug. Just let him go. There he goes off. I'm having a lot of fun throwing this bandito bug. It's just a nice change of pace from the worm and it has been weeding out some of the smaller fish. Awesome, let's get back in there. There we go, I'm on. That's a better fish, that's a better fish. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Get him up, nice. Nice smallie. That is a nice smallie. That's the size I'm looking for on that bandito bug. Epic, epic bite right here. There we go. Let this guy go right there. Awesome. There we go, there we go, nice pass. Right in front of me. Awesome. Get him unhooked. Another nice little chunk on the bandito. Let him go.